you there? Okay, so we have Shaya Ferdos here. Okay, Shaya Ferdos is organizing secretary of McTaggart Association of Kuwait. Okay. Hello, Mr. Shaya. George. Hi. Uh, I am a robotics engineering student, mechatronics engineering for specific. Uh, I have a question that uh, NASA is sending research robots, right? And uh, when NASA will start sending robots that can build or that can build for uh, infrastructures or extract resources from Moon or Mars for long human missions? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're doing quite a bit of robotics. Um, but here's the challenge of, uh, let's call it uh, machine learning, AI type robotics that are able to uh, build uh, structures. So uh, what are the challenges that we found out when uh, we we're developing uh, Robonaut was that um, the, um, the amount of computations just for a robot to do something very small and intricate, very small movements, uh, is is uh, is amazing, and so um, you know to develop robots that can build uh, something in a in a in a decent amount of time, uh, we're still challenged with that because of uh, uh, one is the computational power required for uh, robots, uh, you know, to get you know receive instructions and and operate very quickly what they need to do. And then the second thing is, and I mentioned this in my presentation, radiation effects. Okay, so how does radiation effects uh, uh, affect uh, computational power? Well, on the ground, you know, like right now, you know, we're, we're, we're talking, uh, I got audio, video, all this kind of stuff. They're using a lot of computational power. Uh, Google uses this search engine that has uh, a room just full of servers uh, with a lot of computational power um, that, that they do for, you know, for doing a search. We don't have that luxury. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the electronics that, uh, that we try to send into deep space uh, misbehave in the radiation environment. And because of that, the electronics that we do put into space, uh, like for example, the, the electronics that, uh, that went to Mars, uh, on, the, on those rovers is very slow, about 50, sometimes 50 times slower than Earth uh, electronics. So very slow. And, and, and if you're trying to build your know, robots that uh, operate very quickly to build a structure, uh, it, it's, it's going to be challenging. If you think about uh, how many robots does it take to build, let's say, a habitat, but uh, factoring how fast they can do it, uh, you know, we, we may be talking about swarms of robots in order to build something, and maybe that's the way to deal with uh, the uh, challenge of computational power. So um, uh, hopefully I gave you some ideas, but uh, and maybe uh, are you an undergraduate or a graduate student? Undergraduate student, sir. Okay, so, uh, you know, for your uh, master's degree, you could uh, work on uh, swarming uh, robot building systems, you know, that don't require a lot of computational power, but yet can accomplish the mission of building a habitat or infrastructure in deep space without needing a whole lot of computational power, because you did, you got more, you know, they call it divide and conquer, right? Uh, you have, uh, you have a lot more, but you don't need as much power. Thank you, Mr. George. Uh, that was a great advice, and I'll try to follow that. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thank you, Sharia.